Happy New Year, you sentient STDs. Someone told me that last year you had to trick or treat over the phone. And every time I'm around you, I kind of just want to fart so it'll smell better. <laughs> it's a new day. It's a new month. It's a new year. But I'm still an asshole. Look what we have here, a new year. 2023, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with us, okay? Let's do this together. Fuck your brothers, just, just, just you know, me and you, baby, you know what I'm saying? Welcome back, for those of you who have been here before. And if you're new here, why don't you start from the beginning? This is weird, it's like starting like the MCU from Endgame, it's just so wild. Anyways, but welcome. If you don't know what I do here, uh, I read stories that we get on Reddit called Am I the Asshole? It's a whole thread. Um, but usually I don't like to stay on there because these Reddit commenters who are supposed to be answering, some of these people are actually posting their real life on here. And they answer with stuff like, I'll give you an example. They'll be like, um, hey, so am I the asshole because I'm allergic to cats and my girlfriend really, really wants one and she's like, oh, you should take Benadryl. I saw that recently. I, it's a really short story, so I'm not gonna do it. But the commenters were like, oh man, elbows are ashy as shit. I shouldn't put that on the camera, right? Or is this lighting? Anyways, the commenters are like, you're a fucking asshole. Your girlfriend really wants a cat. Why would you deprive her of something? Fuck it. And it's just dumb shit. And I'm here to shake up the things and go against the status quo and all that other shit. But sometimes we don't go on Reddit. Sometimes people submit them to twitter.com backslash asshole am I the, or am I the a-hole 22 at gmail.com. You see how much better I got at that. And we personalize this shit. You guys talk to me, I talk to you, blah, 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 blah. We leave Reddit alone. Everybody's happy, unless you're an asshole. And then, yeah, you still be happy. Be a happy asshole. So. Um, that's what we do. Read the stories and tell people whether they're the asshole, whether they're not the asshole, whether everyone sucks, no one sucks at all, or, no, asshole of the day, these fucking football fans, man. I'm gonna wait till this truck passes. Uh, yeah, these football fans. And I'm not talking about the casual fan or the, the ones who go fanatic over there you know, favorite team or some shit like that uh, in, a, in a good, healthy way or fantasy football people. Oh, it's boring me. I don't give a shit. But it's the ones who are going a little bit nuts. Yeah, prayers up for DeMar Hamlin, who, uh, you know, is in critical condition right now. And, um, you know, this isn't about him. This is about the people who were pissed off that their game was halted because this guy was on the field fighting for his life. Like, come on, man. And then also, I don't know if you guys have seen this video. Yeah. The fuck is wrong with people, man? Yo, anyways, assholes. Assholes, if you take something that has nothing to do with you so serious and you're willing to fight over it, you're willing to cry over it, you you don't care about human life, you're a fucking asshole. And I'm calling you out today. Welcome to the new fucking year. It's 2023. Stop being a little bastard. Let's get on with the show. Am I the asshole for wearing my engagement ring when I knew my stepsister was getting engaged? I just got engaged at the beginning of December. For Christmas, I was staying with my mom and stepdad, and they were hosting my stepdad's whole family, step-siblings, mother, brothers, cousins, family, whatever, for a New Year's party. Prior to this, my sister Rachel, who's now fiancé Matt, informed my parents that he was going to propose and asked if it would be okay to do it at the party, and my parents agreed. For the party, everyone was dressing up, and obviously, I was wearing my engagement ring. Everybody already knew I was engaged, but this was the first time they'd seen me and seen the ring in person, so at the start of the party, everyone was interested in seeing it. I did notice Matt was being a bit cold with me, but I thought it was nerves. The proposal happened, and it was beautiful. Everyone congratulated Rachel, but it was kind of a 50-50 thing on people wanting to look and compliment her ring and mine. A lot of comparisons were made, nothing unkind, and everybody was really happy for Rachel, and so was I. The day after, Rachel and Matt blew up at me about wearing the ring to the party. Rachel said I was deliberately trying to draw attention to myself on her special night, and that since I knew beforehand she was getting engaged, I shouldn't have worn my ring. Since I don't always wear it anyways. Oh, that was a whole sentence. Punctuation sucks. I don't really agree with this since I've been engaged for weeks and everyone already knew about it. It's not like I stole her thunder, nor did I intend to by wearing my ring. I wore it because I'm engaged, so that's what you do. Matt then accused me of embarrassing him 
by wearing my colossally large ring when I knew Rachel's wouldn't be anywhere near as big and intentionally showing him up in front of the family. He even went a, he even went on about the other jewelry I wore. My stepdad called them both stupid for their outburst. My stepbrother says there's no way I could have known that that's how they'd feel. It's not like they asked me not to wear it. My mom says while she does know I didn't do it deliberately, she could see where Rachel was coming from since everyone preferred my ring to hers. She also said that given that my ring is quite unique, I should have considered it would be, uh, it would draw attention. Am I the asshole? No, 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 you are not the asshole. First of all, you know, so what, what's going to happen when the wedding, when their wedding happens? Are you not allowed to bring your husband or fiance because that'll remind them that I, I don't get it. Why the fuck are people so stupid around engagements and birthdays? This is just dumb. Like, I, you wore your ring. Your mom's married. She got a ring. Is that going to sh outshine somebody else's? And you didn't tell these people, look at me, look at my ring instead of hers. No, people came up to you. If anything, she should be mad at the people for asking about your ring while hers is going on. Like, they don't have any tact. But even still, nobody said anything that wasn't nice. And this is really stupid. The whole stealing your thunder thing. Like, listen, that's a phrase that came from friends. That shit is old. Let that shit go. Nobody's stealing your fucking thunder. There's 8 billion people in the world, probably more right at this very second happening right now. Everybody stop fucking. 8 billion people in the world. You really think that everybody's going to not be doing the same thing that you're doing at the same time? And then you're not supposed to wear your wedding ring? She's like, you don't wear it all the time anyways. Like, I'm not always at your engagement party, you dumb motherfucker. Like, this is stupid. You're not the asshole. They are. That's really dumb. Like... I'm stealing your thunder by wearing a shirt that's black and you got on a black shirt too. Like, yo, get over yourself. And then on top of that, being mad at you takes away from their own engagement thing. It's not like you are doing it deliberately and people are going, oh, well, your ring is the... First of all, first of all, let's talk about how old people don't have any coof, any fucking tact. And they're probably going, oh, that's a very nice ring, young man. It's not as big as hers. It's a very nice ring nonetheless. They're the assholes. They're the assholes. If it was a potluck and you bought mac and cheese and she bought mac and cheese and yours was better, it's not her, it's not your fault that she can't cook. What the fuck? Matt ain't got it like that. Y'all just need to be happy that you're getting married. We need to stop focusing on the fucking rings, man. I want a diamond. I want a unique gemstone. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. It's stupid. We take away, like, first of all, marriage is a farce at this point. You get the government involved, Elvis, all this dumb shit, and then it turns to shit anyways. Remember when Britney Spears back in the days got married for like, you know, a couple hours, and then she was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Hit me, baby, one more time, I'm toxic. Like, Kim Kardashian was married for 72 fucking days just so that she can get an annulment. It's a fucking farce, you know? The LGBTQ community is fighting so that they can have the same level of idiocy that we... Intimacy. <laughs> Freudian slip. They want to be able to be as miserable as the rest of us. And we're just throwing this shit away. So let them. What the fuck? Why would we... You know, this is stupid shit like this. And then people get so nutsack over the party. It's a party. Fuck that. It's a fucking party. I'm up here paying for everybody else to eat and they just gonna talk shit when they leave anyways i don't give a fuck about that shit like do this shit on the side of a fucking cliff with your best friends and your parents and shit like that and make sure nobody pushes somebody off that's it we don't have to go gaga over this shit it's dumb you know what i'm saying like and then matter of fact people are spending like buku dollars a lot of money on these weddings and then next thing you know they can't afford a house because all the money went into the wedding or this whole bridezilla thing just cut it off at the foot make no bridezillas by having no extravagant fucking shit where she's got to wear this dumbass dress that she can only wear once and pass it down to somebody who may not even want it and then this ring which is a diamond and it's most likely a blood diamond and unique gemstones and what does the husband get does he get a ring I don't know. He's gonna get a fucking garter belt at the wedding and he's gotta dance and do some dumb shit. First of all, antiquated shit. I don't have to trade any goats. 
you know, so that my daughter could get married. This is old shit. Let's change the status on this shit. Let's change it. It's fucking dumb. You're not the asshole. They are. Fuck that shit. They might get divorced anyways. Not wishing that on them, but look at how this shit goes. But I'm not going to spend all the money on one party. Honey, um, I, I love you. <laughs> but um, if you call our wedding a party one more time, you may not get invited. <laughs> there was a guy in Iowa who married a donkey. So I guess if you're going to marry an ass, you just go for it all the way. Anyways, right, that's the end of the show for today. Um, I'm going to keep it light. Uh, I'm going to do my absolute best to do an Am I the Lush? It's been a month. I gotta do another one. And like I said, I moved, I'm still putting some shit together. And uh, yeah, you know, so thanks for sticking around. Thanks for coming back to this show. Um, the acoustics are still a little off because I don't really have much in here yet. And uh, once I move everything in, it'll be situated. So yeah, but you know what it is. Send your stories to mitheahole22 at gmail.com and twitter.com backslash asshole am I the. And, uh, you know, like, follow, subscribe, all that youtube -y shit. And join us again. Us, as in me and the cat. I think next episode is going to be very cat heavy. I'm going to find an article that has to do with dogs. You see? I'm not fully back yet. I'm not fully here yet. But it's 2023, and I'm doing my absolute best to give you a fucking show. And that's my finger. Look, Elliot, Elliot, phone home. Okay, I'm losing my shit. Love you like play cousin.